Hi there. Just thought I'd give you a closer look at my uh, collinear antenna for 70 centimeters. As you can see, it's based around a PL259 um, socket um, that's mounted onto an aluminium bracket with um, four bolts, small nuts and bolts. Um, but also to which the radials are attached, quarter wave, so there you go. Um, and then there's a quarter wave section of the vertical and then a half wave section. So as you can see, he really cleverly put this thing together for me. I arrived at work and um, he was basically already assembling it. Um, I'm, I get the impression he's made a lot of these over the years. So, um, so there you go, simple as that. And uh, works pretty well because this is the first time that I've actually heard anything on any of the repeaters in Oxfordshire. Um, uh, Didcot is, yeah, about 20 miles away. Um, this thing was only four metres off the ground, so um, yeah, a nice uh, result for me um, and a first really, so simple as that. Fabricated by his own hand um, um, really quickly. So. Uh, I'm very happy to uh, have such a generous chap working for me and how did I manage to luck out so well that I hired a guy to work for me um, and then he'd been working for me for a couple of months before I even realised he was a radio ham. It was only one day when he came into my office and saw my Bayer Feng charging in the uh, sort of cradle, docking cradle on my desk. He was like, you know, what's that? Um, and we got talking and um, he said to me that he was actually G1's LMA. So, uh, uh, brilliant really. So there you go. Um, there's my collinear 70 centimetre aerial. Um, looks pretty straightforward if you wanted to make one. Even I'd give it a go. So uh, there you go. Right, I'm freezing to death. Um, I'll have to say thanks for watching.